Hi, my name's Jack, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create and control email accounts in Node.js. So we're going to use a free service called MailServe.com that allows us to create email addresses in JavaScript and then send and receive emails from them. So if we uh, sign up for a free account and go to app.mailserve.com, let's sign into our account, we can find an access key here and instructions for controlling the code in JavaScript. So I'm going to go to a new project and I'm going to install uh, MailSlurp client and Jest as well uh, to allow us to write some tests. And I'm going to create a new file, example.test.js. And in there we're going to put some of this code. So it includes my API key. Let's just say test um, can create inboxes and put that like that. Now we can paste in our mail sub code. Get rid of this. So we want to import that. We're in Jest, so we're going to say require. Okay. All right, and we need to make this async. And so in this first function, what we're doing is we are creating a new inbox and we're going to use that to uh, send and receive from. So let's expect the ID to be defined and the email address to contain um, at mail slip. So it's going to have a randomized email address. Let's just run that test. So we can just run um, mpx jest and we see the tests are passing. So that means with these lines of code, we have installed MailSlurp and we've created a new email address and we can use that email address in JavaScript to send and receive emails. So we'll, we'll do that next. Um, so let's say test um, can send an email. Okay, so uh, let's try that out. And in this test, we will create a, some new inboxes. We can move this client up here and let's create uh, inbox, we'll say inbox one, and inbox 2. This is the good thing about mail so we can create as many email addresses as we like and these are real email addresses and uh, let's just do an expect so we expect um, inbox 1 at our email address uh, not to oh, how do we do this is not is not to equal uh, inbox 2 dot email address okay Okay, so we run that and the test passes again. So that's great. So we've got two different email addresses. Now let's send an email, send between inboxes. Okay, so um, what we want to do is go mail serve inbox controller, send email and confirm. And let's just make sure we've got the right values here. Um, yep, okay, so we want to use inbox one ID is, is the ID we're sending from. And for the send options, we're going to send to inbox two. We're just going to say hello world so we can get the sent receipt there and let's expect that the sent uh, to um, to contain inbox to email address all right so let's test that it's running and our tests have passed okay that's great now, so the final step, um, we might want to say, can send to an email and receive, receive that email. So how would we do this? Well, um, email is an asynchronous um, technology, so we don't know exactly when the email will arrive. For that reason, we can use a mail sub wait for um, method uh, to wait for the email to arrive. That will hold the test open until the email is received. So what we can do is say const email equals mail serve wait for latest email. And so we're waiting in inbox 2. We're going to wait 30 seconds. We'll make that um, 120 just to be sure. Uh, we may be dealing with a slow mail server. Um, and unread only true. So that means we're just expecting unread messages. And as soon as we receive it, the message will be marked as read. So we'll expect the subject to equal hello. And now let's run that. Okay, let's run. Okay, should be sending the emails, receiving them. Great, our tests have passed. So what we've just demonstrated is how to create an email address and then how to send and receive email from that email. 
what if we want to create a uh, connect to an already existing email address? Well, um, if we go into our dashboard, we can see here um, inboxes. And if we look at inboxes, we can click on one and we can take the inbox ID and then we can control that inbox from our code. So if um, SMTP and IMAP was an option, we could connect to that using something like Node Mailer. But seeing as we're using the JavaScript client, we'll just use the methods in MailSerp to send and receive email. So let's connect to that now. So in my new test, I'm going to say test um, can control existing inbox. Okay, so let's pass it a async method like that. And we'll say the inbox ID that we want to control is this one. And now let's get the inbox. Um, let's say wait, inbox get inbox. Let's see, is that the right suggestion? No, it's an object. So we'll put an inbox like that. And let's say expect inbox dot email address to equal and we will copy from here it should be this this value so let's make sure we're working with the right email address okay and perhaps we can just run this one um, probably not let's just comment out our other tests for now and run this okay the test is passing so it has the right email address now, what if we want to um, list all the emails in, in that inbox? Um, so we can use a um, email, get emails on the inbox controller, and let's just pass in inbox ID, um, inbox ID, okay? And um, let's have a look what we've got. So this, get emails, okay? And then let's expect emails. We don't expect any emails, do we, to equal Let's see if that can compare the array like that. Failed. Why is that? Oh, it does have an email, of course. It's this email here. So we can see that um, the object here. So um, that's what an email would look like. So we can say that we should expect the first email to have the subject hello. Let's try that. Um, emails. Um, subject and it should equal hello. Now let's try that instead. Excellent. Okay, so in this tutorial I've showed you how to create inboxes and how to send and receive email. Um, an important um, thing to note is um, you can use wait methods um, as shown in this test to hold a connection open until the email arrives. Um, you can also uh, fetch emails directly using the get emails methods. So there's plenty more you can do with the mail slurp uh, JavaScript client. So what I'd recommend is that you go to the docs page and you can find integrations with common uh, frameworks like Playwright, um, Cypress, Selenium, and you can also find um, the documentation for the client. We have a wide range of examples. So if you scroll down to JavaScript and TypeScript, you can see a lot of different examples here, um, including testing with SMS, testing with different frameworks, and, um, and the like. So uh, that's it for my tutorial. I, I hope you find that useful. And please check out www.mailsip.com for more. Thank you.